The differences between petrol and diesel engines. Bonus, dual fuel engines. When comparing gasoline and diesel engines, the first thing to note is that they look quite similar at first glance. And that's no coincidence. Both are internal combustion engines that share much of the same anatomy, including components like pistons, cylinders, and valves. However, what makes them distinct is how they go about combustion. This core difference is what defines the distinct characteristics of each engine type. Gasoline engines are commonly known as spark ignition engines. This means they rely on spark plugs to ignite the air fuel mixture in the combustion chamber. The spark plug, provided with high voltage from the ignition system, ionizes the gases, turning them from electrical insulators into conductors, which causes the air fuel mixture to ignite. This combustion process is called deflagration, where the heat transfer occurs gradually through layers of gas, making it controlled and efficient for pushing a piston in a gasoline engine. On the other hand, diesel engines operate without spark plugs. Instead, they use the principle of compression ignition. Diesel engines compress air inside the cylinder to such a high degree that the temperature of the air increases to the point where it can ignite the fuel on its own. Fuel is injected into the hot air at the peak of the compression cycle, causing combustion. This difference not only changes how combustion occurs, but also affects the timing and injection processes in both engine types. For example, in a gasoline engine, the fuel is introduced earlier during the intake stroke, giving it time to mix thoroughly with the air. In contrast, a diesel engine injects fuel much later, only when the air is hot enough to trigger ignition. This distinction leads to differences in engine behavior, with diesel engines typically employing direct injection, where fuel is sprayed directly into the combustion chamber. An interesting aspect of diesel combustion is the ignition delay, which refers to the time between the injection of fuel and its actual ignition. The rapid combustion that follows this delay creates a sharp spike in cylinder pressure, which is responsible for the characteristic knocking or clattering sound that many associate with diesel engines. One of the most noticeable differences between gasoline and diesel engines is their red line, or the maximum revolutions per minute they can reach. Diesel engines tend to have much lower red lines, typically around 4,500 to 5,000 revolutions per minute, while gasoline engines can rev much higher, often up to 9,000 revolutions per minute. This is primarily due to the heavier internals of diesel engines, which are necessary to withstand the higher pressures experienced during combustion. These heavier components limit how fast a diesel engine can spin. Another key factor is the design of the engine. Diesel engines usually have a longer stroke relative to the bore, which allows for higher torque but restricts the maximum RPM. Additionally, while gasoline engines can control the timing of their ignition with great precision through the use of spark plugs, diesel engines have far less flexibility, as combustion can only start once the air is fully compressed. Despite these limitations, diesel engines are incredibly efficient. One reason for this efficiency is their higher compression ratios, which range from 15-1 to 23-1, compared to gasoline engines that typically have compression ratios between 11-1 and 12-1. Higher compression ratios allow diesel engines to extract more energy from the same amount of fuel, much like detonating a stick of dynamite in a small room would cause more damage than in a larger room. This high compression ratio also explains why diesel engines don't suffer from knocking, a problem in gasoline engines where premature combustion occurs outside the flame front, potentially damaging the engine. Because diesel engines compress only air before introducing fuel, they don't have this issue, allowing them to run at higher pressures without the risk of knocking. From a performance perspective, diesel engines excel at producing torque, which is the twisting force that gets things moving. Torque is essentially a measure of how much force is applied at a distance. In a diesel engine, the longer stroke combined with a high compression results in massive amounts of torque at low RPMs. This makes diesel engines particularly well-suited for tasks that require a lot of pulling power, such as hauling heavy loads or driving large trucks. In contrast, gasoline engines generate less torque but make up for it by revving much higher. This allows them to produce more horsepower, which is a function of both torque and RPM. Essentially, while diesel engines deliver brute force at low speeds, gasoline engines can sustain higher speeds for longer periods. One of the reasons diesel engines are more fuel-efficient than gasoline engines lies in their ability to run extremely lean air-fuel mixtures. Diesel engines always operate with more air than fuel in the combustion chamber, even under full load, which contrasts with gasoline engines that must run richer under high loads to avoid knocking. Another reason for diesel's superior fuel efficiency is the fuel itself. Diesel fuel contains longer chains of hydrocarbons, making it more energy-dense than gasoline. For the same volume, diesel provides around 15% more energy. This, coupled with the lean air-fuel mixture, allows diesel engines to achieve thermal efficiencies of up to 45%, whereas gasoline engines typically range between 20% and 35%. 
However, this efficiency comes at a cost. Diesel engines are more complex, which makes them more expensive to manufacture and purchase. Additionally, the emissions equipment needed to keep diesel engines clean, such as particulate filters and exhaust treatment systems, can add significantly to maintenance costs, especially as the vehicle ages. Despite these downsides, diesel engines tend to last longer than gasoline engines, thanks to their robust construction and lower operating RPMs, which reduce wear and tear over time. This longevity makes diesel engines ideal for long-distance driving and heavy-duty applications where durability is crucial. While gasoline engines might win when it comes to high-speed thrills and a broader power band, diesel engines shine in situations where efficiency, longevity, and torque are more important. Whether for long-distance travel or towing heavy loads, the strengths of diesel engines become apparent in real-world applications. In addition to gasoline and diesel engines, dual-fuel engines offer an interesting alternative in the internal combustion world. These engines can operate using two different fuels simultaneously or switch between them, improving efficiency, reducing emissions, and ensuring fuel availability. Typically, they run on a combination of diesel and natural gas, where natural gas is the primary fuel, and diesel is injected to ignite it due to its higher ignition temperature. Technically, dual-fuel engines rely on a controlled mixture of natural gas and air introduced into the combustion chamber, with a small amount of diesel injected directly into the cylinder to initiate ignition. This is because natural gas, unlike diesel, cannot ignite through compression alone and requires the diesel's spark to start combustion. The electronic control unit of the engine manages the precise ratio of gas and diesel to ensure optimal performance and combustion efficiency. This dual-fuel setup enables the engine to take advantage of natural gas's lower cost and cleaner combustion while maintaining the power density associated with diesel engines. Dual fuel engines are particularly popular in industries such as marine transportation, heavy-duty trucks, and power generation. In these applications, fuel costs and emissions are significant concerns. Natural gas is not only more economical than diesel, but also produces lower levels of carbon dioxide, nitrogen oxides, and particulate matter. This results in cleaner exhaust emissions, helping industries comply with increasingly strict environmental regulations while maintaining engine performance and torque, crucial for large-scale operations. Another major benefit of dual fuel engines is their adaptability to fuel availability. If natural gas supplies are limited or unavailable, these engines can operate entirely on diesel, ensuring reliability in remote areas or during fuel shortages. Additionally, since natural gas is typically less expensive than diesel, using it as the primary fuel can lead to substantial long-term cost savings. This economic benefit makes dual fuel engines highly attractive in industries where fuel represents a major portion of operating expenses. However, dual fuel engines do present challenges. The infrastructure for natural gas refueling is not as developed as that for diesel, limiting the widespread use of these engines. Additionally, managing two fuel systems increases the complexity of the engine and can lead to higher maintenance costs. Despite these hurdles, advancements in dual fuel technology continue to improve reliability and efficiency, making them a viable option for industries seeking a balance between power, cost effectiveness, and environmental sustainability. Don't forget to subscribe to Auto Engineering Lab.